Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The timeline view of a project file shows tasks as blocks of time allocated over the project's timeline. This view appears at the top of the Gantt chart view of a new project file. It is useful as a visual way of showing the tasks that need to be accomplished in a timeline format. It is great for inserting into other reports in Word or PowerPoint to quickly update people on the status of a project using a visual big picture that easily shows the project's progress. To add tasks to the timeline view, ensure you can see the timeline in the project file. To show the timeline at the top of the Gantt chart view, check the Timeline checkbox that appears in the Split View button group on the View tab of the ribbon when viewing the Gantt chart view of the project file. Then click into the Timeline view to show the Format tab of the Timeline Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Alternately, to show only the Timeline view of a project file, click into the Tasks in the Gantt Chart view, and then select Timeline from the Other Views drop-down button that appears in the Task Views button group on the View tab in the ribbon. You can then easily see the Format tab of the Timeline Tools Contextual tab appear within the ribbon. You can use the buttons within this Contextual tab to manage the Timeline view of a project file. While you can click and drag tasks from the Gantt chart view of a file into the timeline above it to add tasks to a timeline, you can also more easily add existing tasks to the timeline view by clicking the Existing Tasks button in the Insert button group on the Format tab of the Timeline Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. In the Add Tasks to Timeline dialog box that appears, check the check boxes next to the names of the tasks to add to the timeline view. You can check the Project checkbox for the project file's name to add a task that represents the duration of the project file to the timeline if desired. After checking the existing tasks to add, click the OK button to add them to the timeline view. You can also insert tasks in the timeline view and have them appear within the Gantt chart view as well. However, note that tasks created in the Gantt chart view are not automatically added to the timeline. You can click either the Task, Call Out Task or Milestone buttons in the Insert button group on the Format tab of the Timeline Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to open the Task Information dialog box. Here you can then enter the task details and click the OK button when finished to add that task to the timeline and to the project file. To change the display of dates in the timeline view, click the Date Format drop down button in the Show Hide button group on the Format tab of the Timeline Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon and then select a date format from the drop down menu that appears. You can also check or uncheck the Task Dates, Today, and Time Scale choices in this drop down menu to show or hide those elements within the date display of the timeline. If displaying the timeline at the top of the Gantt chart view you can also click the Detailed Timeline button to show or hide the details of tasks in the Timeline view. Note that this button is unavailable when viewing the timeline in its own separate view. If you have multiple tasks scheduled for the same time in the timeline, ensure that the Overlapped Tasks checkbox in the Show Hide button group on the Format tab of the Timeline Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon is checked to place the tasks on their own separate rows in the timeline. Within this same button group, if the Pan and Zoom checkbox is checked, then you can scroll the main view by using the Pan and Scroll box that appears within the timeline when you are viewing the tasks within the timeline. You can select the number of lines of text to display for the task dates and names within the timeline by making a choice from the Text Lines drop-down in this button group. You can set the appearance of text within the timeline, by clicking the Text Styles button in the Text button group on the Format tab of the Timeline Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. In the Text Styles dialog box that appears, select the text to change within the view from the Item to Change drop-down. Then set the desired font, font style, size, and color for the selected item by making choices from the spinner boxes and drop-downs of the same name within the dialog box. You can check the Strike Through or Underline checkboxes to apply those settings to the text and all the selected items in the view if desired by checking those checkboxes. 
You will not use the background color or background pattern for any selections you can make in this dialog box. When finished setting the text appearance for the selected timeline items, click the OK button to apply it. You can also change the appearance of selected tasks within a timeline. Simply click the task you want to format in the timeline. Then change the formatting of the selected task using the buttons that appear in the Font button group on the Format tab of the Timeline Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. You can select a font to use from the Font drop-down. You can choose a font size by selecting one from the Font Size drop-down. To apply or remove bolding, italics, or underlining, click either the bold, italic, or underline buttons. To change the background color of a task, make a choice from the background color drop-down. To set the font color of the task, make a choice from the font color drop-down. The buttons that appear in the Current Selection button group on the Format tab of the Timeline Tools contextual tab in the ribbon let you change the appearance of selected tasks or delete tasks from the timeline. You can click either the Display as Bar or Display as Callout buttons to show selected tasks as either bars in the timeline or callouts that appear above the timeline. You can click the Remove from Timeline button to remove selected tasks from the timeline. The tasks will still exist in the project file and you can still see them in the Gantt chart view. After editing and formatting the timeline, you may want to send a copy to others. To create a copy of the timeline suitable for email, a PowerPoint presentation slide, or to create a full-size copy, click the Copy Timeline button in the Copy button group on the Format tab of the Timeline Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. Then select the size of the timeline copy to make from the drop-down that appears. Then open the related program, like Outlook, PowerPoint, or Word, and paste the copy into the desired application. If you have multiple custom timeline views that you have created and saved, and are also viewing the timeline at the top of the Gantt chart view, then you can use the Timeline drop-down in the Switch Timeline button group on the Format tab of the Timeline Tools contextual tab in the ribbon to select the name of the custom timeline view to show in the top panel. Note that this button is not available when viewing the timeline as its own separate view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.